Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Have you ever thought about what it takes to start a lemonade stand? Well, Sue certainly has. She is making lemonade from real lemons that she's going to sell in a lemonade stand. She has 23 crates, and each crate has 185 lemons in it. Ooh, she can make a lot of lemonade. I wonder how many lemons Sue has in total. Well, in order to find out, we're going to have to multiply. Because it's definitely a multiplication problem. Since each crate has 185 lemons and there are 23 crates. Or in other words, there are 185 groups of 23. So we need to multiply 185 by 23. So let's get started by setting up the problem. All right. So we're going to have 185 and 23 lined up vertically with the place values. And now we're going to start with the 3 and multiply it by each of the digits in 185. 3 times 5, oh, that's 15. The 5 stays and we carry the 1 to the tens place. Now right now, 3 times 8 is 24 and don't forget to add the 1 to get 25. Now the 5 stays in the tens place and the 2 is carried over on top to the hundreds place. And 3 times 1 is 3, add in the 2 for a final result of 5. Now before we start multiplying everything by the 2, we need to place a 0 in the 1's place. When we multiply by 2, we're really multiplying by 20, right? So 2 times 5 is 10, and the 0 stays in the 10's place, and the 1 is carried over. And 2 times 8 is 16. Add the 1 to the get 17. The 7 stays and the 1 is carried over. And now 2 times 1 is 2. A plus 1 is 3. And now we can add these two lines together to get our total amount. So 5 plus 0 is 5. Once more add to get 5. Uh, 5 plus 7 is 12, and the 2 stays, and the 1 is carried over. 1 plus 3 is 4, and our final answer is that Sue has 4,255 lemons. And she can make a lot of lemonade out of all those lemons. Ooh, let's go golfing now. A golf range uses 237 golf balls in a single day. How many golf balls would they use in a year? Well, to find out, first we would need to change one year into days. There are 365 days in a year, and so we will be multiplying 237 by 365. Awesome! These are some big numbers. Now let's use an array to help us multiply. We can break each of the numbers into their place values. 237 is 200 plus 30 plus 7, and 365 is 300 plus 60 plus 5. All right, now let's set up the array. Look at the numbers we're going to be multiplying together. There are quite a few zeros. When multiplying, we can multiply the non-zero numbers and then just add in the zeros to get the correct value. Are you ready? Here we go. 200 times 300. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, and there are four zeros total in the numbers 200 and 300, so we add those four zeros to the end of 6, and we get 60,000. Now, 30 times 300. Well, 3 times 3 is 9. With three total zeros, we get 9,000. And 7 times 300. 3 times 7 is 21, but with the two zeros, that's 2,100. Oh, cool. Moving on to the next row. 200 times 60, well, that would be 12,000. And 30 times 60 is 1,800. Now, 7 times 60, 420. Wow, last row already? 200 times 5 is 1,000. And 30 times 5 is 150. And finally, 7 times 5, 35. All right. Now we can add all these products together. So let's start with all of the columns. And we've got 60,000 plus 12,000 plus 1,000. And that is 
73,000. Um, moving over, we've got 9,000 plus 1,800 plus 150 equals 10,950. And in the last column, we've got 2,100 plus 420 plus 35 equals 2,555. And now we can add all these three sums up to get our final answer. And whoa, we have a final answer of 86,505 golf balls. That is a lot of golf balls. Ooh, what's Chen busy with? Ooh, looks like he's reviewing his math homework. Good on you, Chen. And he has the following problem marked as incorrect. Well, let's help him figure out what needs to be corrected. We can use estimation to see what the answer should be close to. Well, 187 is close to 200, and 63 is close to 60. So let's multiply 200 and 60. Uh, 200 multiplied by 60 is 12,000. And Chan's answer was 1,683. So there seems to be a place value missing. Now let's look at his work to see if we can spot his mistake. Hmm... This multiplication with the 3 looks correct. Yep, all the multiplication was accurate, and the numbers were carried over correctly. Ah, but before multiplying by the 6, what should Chen have done? He forgot to place the 0 to hold the place value. So let's help him correctly finish the multiplication now that the 0 is there. Alright. 6 times 7 is 42, and the 2 stays in the tens place, and the 4 is carried over. Uh, 6 times 8 is 48, plus 4 is 52. And the 2 is placed in the hundreds place, and the 5 is carried over. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 5 is 11. Okay, great. And now we can add these products together. 1 plus 0, well, that's 1. Uh, 6 plus 2 is 8, 5 plus 2 is 7, and 0 plus 1 is 1, and 0 plus 1, well, again, is 1. So our final answer is 11,781. And that is close to our estimation of 12,000, so it makes better sense. Woo! That was some mighty multiplication today. We used two different methods to multiply larger numbers. And now you have become a mighty multiplication wizard. See you in the next video.